Good afternoon. I'm Rain Musni. This is Newsfeed. We begin with Philippine shares taking a nosedive a day after Donald Trump won back the U.S. presidency. The benchmark index was down 2.11 percent to close at 7014. It even fell to the 6900 level mid-trading. This is the PSEI's biggest drop since falling 2.58 percent on August 5th. Among the sectoral indices, only services ended in the green. SM Prime contributed the most to the PSEI's decline, decreasing 5.37 percent. The Philippine economy grows slower than expected in the third quarter. The GDP expanded 5.2 percent, down from 6.4 percent in Q2. Economists had forecast a growth rate of 5.7 percent. Government officials attribute the slowdown to effects of bad weather, which delayed some government spending and affected agricultural output. The latest data gives the central bank fresh hints to further cut interest rates. Governor Eli Remolona has signaled that GDP figures will guide the policy easing path with another 25 basis point reduction possible next month. Economists expect the U.S. Federal Reserve to cut interest rates again and shrug off uncertainty raised by Donald Trump's election victory. The Fed began a two-day meeting Wednesday where they are expected to decide on a quarter percentage point rate reduction. That would lower the central bank's benchmark lending rate to between 4.5 and 4.75 percent. On the campaign trail, Trump doubled down on his past criticisms of Fed Chair Jerome Powell, whom he appointed in 2017. Trump said he could do Powell's job better and that he would like to have a say over interest rate decisions. China's exports grow at the fastest pace in more than two years. Outbound shipments rose 12.7 percent year-on-year in October. That's much higher than the 2.4 percent rise in September and market expectations of 5.2 percent. Imports, on the other hand, turned negative for the first time in four months, falling 2.3 percent. The Donald Trump as president-elect his pledge to impose tariffs on Chinese imports is likely to spur a shift in stocks to warehouses in China's number one export market. Canada has ordered the wind-up of TikTok's Canadian operations in a bid to increase national security. TikTok was told to close all business operations within Canada, though the app will remain available to users. Canada's government cited growing concerns about data privacy and TikTok's ties to the Chinese government. Officials warned that Canadian user data could be vulnerable to foreign influence and cybersecurity threats. This move follows similar actions by the U.S. and European nations and is part of a larger global effort to regulate TikTok more strictly. And before we go, here are today's market winners and losers. Those are the news this hour. I'm Rain Musni. Stay tuned to BNC on Free TV Channel 31, Channel 24 on Signal, and on our website, bnc.ph. Thanks for watching.